Yeah, sure. So one of the key things, I guess, in the Factum days was um, that because we had proof of authority, so basically the node operators deciding upon everything, um, they were also deciding upon the grant applications. And uh, then uh, as part of the uh, node operators, um, we had uh, quite some teams that were also doing software development, uh, so technical in nature. And um, then it sort of automatically becomes this small group of people voting upon their own grants and not being really open to the outside world. And um, that has, it, it, I'm not saying that um, that was on purpose, that it was designed like that, or that um, any of the parties uh, weren't looking to sort of progress the protocol. It's just uh, how it turned out to be. And uh, one of the key things I think with Accumulate that we've done differently is um, uh, ensuring uh, basically to have different types of uh, grant proposals. Um, so for instance, first of all, we have uh, what are called Accumulate open calls. Uh, and one of the key difference there is that um, anyone can submit a proposal. Um, but in the end, um, those are based uh, typically also on um, uh, improvement uh, uh, proposals. So for Accumulate, we have what are called Accumulate Improvement Proposals, which basically means that um, uh, some of the more technical people involved in Accumulate will write uh, some proposals. And those could also be external proposals, to be clear. So um, it doesn't, if somebody has a really good ID, um, for Accumulate, they could write a proposal. And basically, uh, an open call uh, seeks uh, and solicits uh, parties that want to implement that uh, proposal. So um, that's a big difference uh, with uh, what we had at Factum, where basically somebody submitted their own ID and then um, uh, could get or, or ask for uh, the grants uh, to be um, submitted or, or to be applied, I guess. Um, uh, right now, basically, it means that uh, sort of Accumulate is more in control. But on the other hand, we do have um, still the concept of, of community grant applications. So that's more uh, what we had with Factum. And um, uh, that allows for continuous application of grants, for instance. Um, and um, those grants can be for any topic, uh, for any duration or any amount. Obviously, um, uh, the bigger the amount, uh, the less likely um, some, prop, uh, some party might get it. Um, uh, they uh, are semi-structured, um, uh, some minimal required requirements, um, such as, as clear quantified work packages, of course, and uh, payments, um, uh, typically based upon milestones. And lastly, we have uh, the third type of grant, which are uh, what we are calling uh, fast-track grant requests, which is um, basically more like out-of-pocket costs. Um, so sometimes, um, uh, for instance, a conference comes up or uh, a marketing opportunity or something like that comes up um, and uh, where well, we don't want to go to this really rigid process of uh, vetting the application uh, with multiple parties and back and forth between them. And, and this is typically for small amounts where basically um, a quick decision can be made. And all these three uh, grant uh, types are being vetted by the different uh, committees. So basically, uh, we have this small sort of workflow um, that, uh, for instance, a marketing uh, application uh, will go to the business committee. A core development application needs to have a, a improvement pr a proposal attached to it, which will go, for instance, to the uh, core committee. 